Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare, anything beauty related. I got you covered. Today's video, it's a Jones Road video. We're going to be talking about a new kit. Well, it's not a new kit because it was launched last year, but it's being brought back and it's called New Year, Same You. So first off, Happy New Year. I hope you guys are all well. I hope everybody's in good health. I hope good things are happening for you. Um, so I'm going to talk about this new kit today. We're going to talk about a couple things. Um, I'll try to help you kind of like find your shades and what colors to pick. So that's going to be today's video. I also want to make a quick little note. Um, I do have an affiliate link through Shop My Shelf, and I will be using, I will be listing all of the products that I'm using, and I will link them. It would mean the world to me if you guys decide to purchase and you go through my affiliate link. It definitely helps out my channel. No pressure, but it's definitely very helpful to my channel. So just something to consider, and it's all linked down below if you just click on it and you like order specific item or just takes you to the site and you just start shopping through the site through the link it helps me out a tremendous amount <laughs> so back to the video all right so holidays are done all the getting ready all the extra makeup it's like it's finally settled down now it's time to focus on skincare it's time to start to appreciate our skin again or more right so this kit is going to feature four products. You're going to be able to choose three of the products. One thing has a standard, like, you can't pick that one. <laughs> and in this video, I'm going to demo the New Year Same You kit. But I'm also going to incorporate a couple things that I would recommend if whether you're new or you just need to refresh your makeup. I'm going to introduce some products in here in case you don't know about them. So, for starters, what's in the kit? The kit is going to come with, the kit is gonna come with the Jones Road Eye Cream, which is lightweight, it's hydrating, it feels great, it moisturizes, and it absorbs into the skin nicely, and it doubles up as a lip mask. So you'll see me in the video kind of like apply a little bit on my lips after I've applied it to my eyes. If you suffer from super dry lips, this is a lifesaver. Um, it feels amazing. A great, great eye cream. It's like your basic eye cream. It's hydrating. It's not going to address like wrinkles or dark under eye circles. Just This is just hydration, which is what we need. The next thing in the kit is you're going to be able to choose two pencils. There are 25 shades. My two pencils, right now I'm in my winter color. I have lost all of my tan. So this is me like pale, sallow. This is Anna in the month of January. My two shades are pencil number nine and pencil 12. So I kind of fall into the light medium category and I have a yellowy golden undertone, yellowy olive undertone. So right now my perfect match is shade nine. It's enough to give me a little bit of color and even me out. You'll see me apply it on my face. But for my under eyes, which I'm going to start with first, I'm doing shade pencil 12. And you're probably like, wait, Anna, why are you a higher number under your eyes, but a lower number on the rest of your face? So from working with these products, I know that shade 12 has a little bit of a peachy tone to it. Now my under eyes, they're not severe and I know that, but my under eyes are not blue and they're not pink. They're more of like a brownish purple tone. So shade 12 is perfect for me. I do not have severe under eyes. So if you have kind of like a little bit of a dark under eye and it leans more brown or purple, try 12. If you have dark, dark under eye circles and they're brown, like very brown, Go with shade 13. I think you're going to find that that's going to help. If you have pink under your eyes, blue, shade 11 is going to be your best friend. If you have pinkish under eyes and you're very fair skin, try shade 5. Like if your circles are not severe. Now, please, 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 please pay attention to what I'm going to say. If you are a light fair skin person, okay, but your under eyes are like pink and blue, 
Regardless if you fall in shades one to five or one to seven, you're gonna wanna go with shade 11 because you need that pinky tone to neutralize. The five is going to work if you have like those barely there under eye circles, okay? And if you have very, very, very dark circles, try shade 17. If you are a woman of color, you have like that tan rich, rich chocolate skin tone, try 18. That might be a good one. So again, best thing to do is send in your picture to hi at jonesroadbeauty.com. You can get shade match. Or if you stop by the flagship store, you can definitely get shade match. But that's kind of a guideline for... Um, picking your under eye color if you're using a neutralizer. So those are the two colors that I use and you're gonna see in the video, I like to warm up the pencils if I'm working underneath my eyes or anybody's eyes on the back of my hand. And the reason I do that is because I want the product to really melt down and be easy to work with. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna warm it up and then I'm gonna take my ring finger always with the ring finger and I'm gonna circle it. I'm gonna pick up the product because it's gonna pick up the right amount of product and I'm gonna tap, tap, tap. And you're gonna see, I'm gonna go right under my eyes and I'm gonna get hit that corner on the inner corner, like near my nose, where my nose and my eye meet because that is where dark circles love to start. They love to hang out there and we gotta cancel that out so that we look awake and we don't look tired. So that's what I'm gonna do. I always start off with the neutralizing shade. It's gonna knock out any darkness. Also, another thing I want to know, I don't have any like brown spots or sunspots, but if you do have sunspots, you can use that, that corrector if it's a peachy tone on a sunspot. It'll help neutralize that, all right? So you kind of use that product a couple of times. Um, then I'm going to go in with my pencil number nine. So you'll see when I neutralized, it knocked it out, but now I need some brightness. So I'm going to go in with number nine, same thing. On the back of my hand and I'm gonna tap right over the neutralizing shade and you're gonna see that I'm gonna look awake like I just had a cup of coffee I just slept all night and did not get woken up by my cat knocking stuff down I'm gonna look awake and refreshed that's how those two work under the eyes now nine like I mentioned before does match me everywhere else on the face so I'm gonna use the face pencil basically to tone down or take down any of the redness that I have on my face. I'm gonna show you two ways that I do it. One, draw the whiskers on the face, blend it out, and I'm gonna be using the Jones Road Skin Brush to blend that out. And I forgot to mention when I was doing my concealer and I was kind of touching up, I did use the Joan Rose Detail Brush just to kind of blend out anything so I don't have any lines or um, just blend out seamlessly. So you do that, you draw the whiskers, you blend it out. That's one way to do it. You could use your fingers. You don't have to use a brush. I, depends on my mood or how fast I need to get out the door, I will either use my fingers or I will use a brush. The other way that I love to use the pencil is, it's been my favorite way since, since I found Jones Road. I take the Miracle Cream now I'm dry, so you have two options. You have the Miracle Cream and then you have the Light Moisture Cream if you're not dry. Miracle Cream is my ride or die product. I actually had prepped my skin beforehand and you'll see me kind of just how I do it. I take out a little bit, I warm it up and I press into the skin. This baby's rich, she's rich. If you take it and just start putting it on your face from the jar, it's. I always joke that it's like putting cold butter on bread. You gotta warm her up warm it up and just press into the skin. That's how I prep my skin. I use a little bit because again, I really want to emphasize that I'm a very dry person. So what I like to do is I will scoop out a little more of Miracle Cream and I'll warm it up and then I take my face pencil and I just really kind of like if I'm swatching it heavy and then I pick up a little bit of that Miracle Cream and I mix it in and boom, I got my own tinted moisturizer. Then I just apply to my face. And I blend it back out with that skin brush what I love about this moisturizer is that, first of all, it feels amazing on the skin. It has no scent. It gives me a dewy glow. So if you are somebody that loves a dewy glow and like just healthy skin, this is going to keep your face like that all day. These products play really well together. So that's, that's why I love that combo. Um, easy to use, easy to blend, and I know that all day my skin is gonna feel hydrated. So I need that, especially in the winter. And then I'm gonna take the 
Shimmer Face Oil in the shade Midas. I love that one. Again, if you have a golden undertone, this face oil, this shimmer face oil, it's like an illuminator for the face, is going to complement your skin so beautifully. If you do have a little bit of red rosacea, you can use that and that's going to help to calm the redness down. It's not going to conceal it. It's not going to neutralize it, but it's going to just kind of make it not look as red. You have uh, three other shades that you could pick up. I don't have the pink opal one. I thought I had it. I think I gave it to my mom. Um, so I can't swatch that one for you today. But I do have bronze. I'm going to put them on the back of my hand right now so you could see. So these are the three colors that I have. This is the one I use in the video. This is Midas. These are heavy swatches when you, you can shear them down, okay? These are colors. Bronze is going to be a beautiful highlighter for those of you who are tan, rich, deep skin tones. Gorgeous highlighter. Cool Rose is going to be for my fair to light medium, medium women that don't have that much yellow in their skin. I find that Cool Rose is a beautiful color, but on my skin tone, because I'm so yellow, it kind of turns a little bit blue on me. So that's why I love to go for... Midas. Midas just works the best with my undertone. And the pink opal shade that I don't have is going to be perfect for those of you who are true porcelain, fair skin, and you have that cool undertone. It's going to give you, you see how this glow on me right now looks with my skin tone? That's what it's going to do for you if you are a fair porcelain skin tone. It's going to give you that, that wet glow. So, um, I pump that onto my hand and I kind of go like this and I just lay it across my cheek and I blend it out. I love the way that looks. It truly gives me that glass glow skin that I am obsessed with. So that's, that's one of my favorite products. And one thing I did, I didn't do in the video cause I kind of wanted to just focus on the pencils was you could take your shimmer face oil and lightly put it everywhere on the face. The only one that I find does have a little shimmer in it is the bronze one. So I do want to note that. But the other shades, when you blend them out, you just get like that glassy glow. You can go on top with your face pencil. You can mix it with the moisturizer. Have fun with it. Have so much fun with it. Don't, don't look at it and say, okay, I can only use it as a highlight. Can play with it. That's the, that's the thing about makeup is that you can play with it. You can experiment. And if you don't like it, you can wash your face off. That's it. So that's what's in the kit. Um... I did want to show you, I'm doing my brows um, on camera. I did use the Jones Road, the brow pencil in brunette. Always go with the light hands. I just lightly filled in my brows and then I blended them out with the spoolie end of the eyebrow brush. Curled my lashes a little bit with my Tweezerman lash curler. And I put on a little coat of the Jones Road, the mascara. Highly recommend this. I'm just saying, like, if you're going to order this kit and you want to throw in a couple of things, definitely recommend the mascara. It sold out for a reason. For me, my lashes are super straight. When I curl my lashes and I put this on, they just stay up all day. I don't have to worry about it. And then I can reapply later and they don't drop. So amazing. And then just to kind of give myself some color, because I was looking, I was looking nice and dewy, but I needed something on my cheeks. I went in with the Tawny Nude Lip and Cheek. I love this product. You can put it on the lips. It feels like a light balm on the cheeks. It has like this nice kind of like warm, pinky, brownish color. And that little pink just kind of brightens up my face. I use my fingers. Um, and then... Because I love a product that I can use multiple ways. I just popped it in my crease just to kind of tie the whole look together. It's a very, very like easy line to work with, whether you're new to makeup, whether you're a minimalist, whether you just like you're a mom or you just got to get out the door. The reason I say mom is because I'm a mom. And you need a five, like a true five minute face. You can throw these all together. You're out the door. And honestly, the makeup lasts all day on me. You may need to touch up your lip if you use this as a lip product. That's about it. I mean, you're you're pretty solid with these products. Uh, one thing that I do want to stress, if you, you get any of this and you don't have this, do yourself a favor and order the 
sharpener because it's not included and that's the only way you're going to be able to sharpen these guys the face pencils and if you go with the brow pencil it's the only way you're going to be able to sharpen it it does come with a standard size sharpener but this chubby side is is what we need so I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me, leave a comment. You can DM me on Instagram and I will definitely get back to you. So I hope you have an amazing day and good luck shopping. Enjoy your shopping. Take care. Bye.